All right, so there's a real rough texture here. And then you can see up here, this is a, a kind of a false beam, but one by six nailed up onto two, uh, like one by tens. Run a straight bit route, a router bit like my finger, that'll run right along the edge there and it'll cut all the excess wood off and then it'll appear to be a beam. Those will fill whatever gaps and cracks there are. It's rough sign, we're gonna leave it that way, so you're not gonna worry too much about that one color. Probably gray to match the floors that I'm gonna put in here. I had an interesting deal. I don't know if I'm gonna get it or not. I made an offer on it last night. One of the four or five properties that I've been working on this week, making a lot of great progress, getting a lot of work done. Uh, you can watch the videos uh, that have already done this last week. They've all been in the field. That's how they usually start, in the field. Uh, but um, you'll see uh, just all the different work that's going on, masonry, drywall, exterior siding, demolition, uh, all sorts of stuff. And in fact, I'm so happy with the way the fireplace come out. Uh, in the job we did yesterday that I'm uh, heading to, an, I'm having another one done. And actually that's where we're going right now. Uh, in fact, I'll just keep talking until we get there and then I'll show it to you. But uh, the tore the rear patio off, off the back place. Uh, there's pretty good tip in there for those of you. If you got any, you'll sometimes you'll find uh, the, the cement that they put rocks together with or even between bricks. If it looks like it's eroding oddly, uh, you know, a test you can do is take a copper penny and scrape, just kind of scrape it. If it starts wearing, if it takes the copper off, it means the cement is probably pretty good. Uh, you know, it's a good mix. But if you do it and it digs and crumbles, it means you got way too soft a batch, uh, not near enough cement in there, something's wrong. See all the work I did or I had done a bunch of repair work, but it looks great. And for the money spent, it was well worth it. I'll be closing a deal in January uh, for just under a million dollars. Really happy about that purchase. I've got one sold, property sold for 100, and, or not sorry, 100, 1.7 million, a little more than that actually. Uh, that one's going to be solid in January, meaning the money goes hard. When we say that, what that means is they have money at stake that will be lost. They either close it or they let it go. They, if they don't let it go, then they, they have a substantial amount of money to lose, uh, which of course, you always wanna to get to that point because then it gives me confidence that the deal is going to close when somebody's gonna lose, you know, when they've already forfeited 20, 20, $30,000, you can be pretty confident that uh, they're gonna close the deal if they lose that much money. Uh, it's not 100%, sometimes people lose that kind of money tying up something, but uh, I think this is a no-brainer. They're getting a decent deal, and it works for me too. So that one will happen in January. I'm hoping to have at least two, two of the five homes I got going right now and have them on the market before Christmas, and then the others within the first two weeks of January. That's my hope. It's a pretty hot market right now where I'm at, and really in a lot of places and I want to take advantage of it. I want to take advantage of these low interest rates. Uh, you'll, you'll always get a premium for your property when the interest rates are low. You know, whether the times are good or bad, those low rates are going to get you the most you're going to get at that time. You know, good times or bad, that's, that's when you're going, to, you're going to get the best that you can at that time. Some of you that think you're starting with high rates, you know, at three, four percent, five percent, listen, when I started, it was nine and a quarter, and that was coming down from upwards of 12, 13%. First place I bought, I paid 145,000. That, that's first place, that was my first home that I bought for myself. And it was a great deal, it was worth about 200 and something. That was a long time ago, but when I bought it, I got a nine, I got a nine and a quarter interest rate, and I got a nine and an eighth, I got, they took off an eighth of a percent because I opened up a banking account there. But think about that, that's three times, more than three times, uh, the interest, what the interest rate is right now. In fact, it's almost four times what it is right now. My daughter just got quoted, I think, a rate of 2.8. You know, that is just so, so cheap. And uh, uh, commercial loans, uh, I'm borrowing a uh, million. I'm borrowing for a commercial property I'm buying right now. Even that one, I'm getting for 4%. Uh, you know, that's just really low. And, uh, you know, the bank, surprisingly, even, you know, I have 
great credit on an investor property, meaning one that I don't occupy, but one that I own and will rent out. I, you know, I expect to put you know 30%, 25% down. Well, I'm getting investor loans now with only having to put 20% down. So think about that, only 200 grand down on a million dollar purchase, and that's nice. And so we're entering one of my neighborhoods, one of my barbells, a barbell that's, it basically is just a cluster of properties. And those clusters are around my work and or around my office. And the reason they are is because those are the areas that I frequent most. And okay, this is good. You guys will see, this will be kind of neat for you guys to see. They tore out my uh, fireplace. And you guys can see in here, I've already got furniture in here. New appliances, new fridge, new stove, new washer dryer. All of this is purchased just for the sole purpose of marketing this home to make it look more appealing. Hey you guys, how's it going? Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Look at that, and this is, they've only been doing this for, what's this, three hours? Yeah. You guys are working hard and fast, that's great. Did you do all the tear out too? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Looks great. What's the plan on the bottom? Are you gonna go a little bit further out, or what do you what do you think? Oh, uh, Richard, he told me to just to do the same. Just match it. Okay. Yeah, just match it right there. Yeah, you can see where the tile is, where his bucket's touching. He's getting some looters or something to go yeah. on the top. He's going to get yeah. that. Okay, so we're gonna cap the top of that. He'll get that rock done, and then we're gonna cap it with like a nice, wide, smooth, kind of like you see this countertop here. Except it'll be like that, but it'll be stone. And you can see I've got all the light fixtures pulled in here because we just repainted. And are we getting ready to paint? This has been retextured. And you know, this horizontal fencing, I've been real happy with it. And this is a gorgeous lot, right? This is a, a really nice big one, half acre, which is really prime. Uh, so I'm hoping for 550 to 600 and maybe six, 600 quarter for this place. Maybe too optimistic, but I don't think so. Uh, so this one's gonna be going on the market right away. Uh, this is really all I'm lacking. They got to do that. I'm going to shoot some crown molding in. They'll hand paint the crown mold, and this this thing will get those those appliances will come in. We'll stage it. I'll put a TV on that wall, and we'll get this thing sold. And that's what's going on. Uh, so uh, so hey, be sure to subscribe. Uh, flip anything USA. Uh, you can go to my website if you're interested in mentorship. You can get a hell of an education from me. I've been doing this stuff for 40 years. Uh, go to flipanythingusa.com. Just go to the mentorship page. But be sure to uh, like and subscribe. Watch my videos. So much information I've already put out in the last few years. It'll really help you if you're somebody new. Or even if you've been doing it for a long time. You know, I've been doing this full time for many, many, many years. And uh, anyhow, that's it. Thanks.